Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will understand the process of using e-invoice overview report and e-invoice archives in Tally Prime. The e-invoice overview report provides you with the e-invoicing status of the voucher. The report lists the vouchers that are ready for e-invoice generation and those for which e-invoices are already generated. Moreover, you also get to know the uncertain transactions that you need to work on and also those rejected by the e-invoice system. And if there are vouchers for which e-invoice status is yet to be updated, you will be able to identify those vouchers too. E-invoice overview becomes a companion in your e-invoice cycle where you can track the status and take actions as needed. Let's first view the e-invoice overview report in Tally Prime. Press Alt plus G. Type and select e-invoice overview and press enter. As you can see, there are a total of 5 sections based on the e-invoice status of the vouchers. First, let's drill down from the rejected by e-invoice system section. As you can see, there are some vouchers rejected by the e-invoice system. Press Alt plus Enter to view the voucher in the voucher display mode. You can view the reason for rejection. As per the regulations by Zatka, you can resolve these vouchers and send them again for e-invoicing if and only if edit log is enabled in your company. However, if edit log is not enabled, then you will need to create a credit note against the rejected sales invoice. You can take actions to resolve the error in order to send the invoice for e-invoice generation again. This will nullify the effect on the books of accounts. Thereafter, you can create a new sales invoice to send it to the e-invoice system. This is because Zatka requires the log of a voucher if you want to generate an e-invoice for it after rejection. Now, you can resolve the uncertain transactions. Drill down from the section. Press Alt plus F5 to view the detailed report. You can see the reason because of which the voucher has entered into the uncertain transaction section. Let's drill down further and make the necessary changes in the voucher. Press Ctrl plus A to save the voucher. You can now upload this transaction on the e-invoice system. You have the flexibility to send it for e-invoicing later through exchange. Press Escape and get back to the report. When a transaction has all the necessary information for e-invoice, it is found in the Ready for e-invoice generation section. Drill down from the Ready for e-invoice generation section. As you can see, there are vouchers ready for e-invoice generation. You can easily go to exchange and then send for e-invoicing in order to send these vouchers for e-invoicing. Now, let's view the vouchers under Upload for e-invoice generation unsuccessful, re-upload. This section contains the vouchers that have the necessary information for e-invoice generation, but the e-invoice status is yet to be updated. You will need to upload these transactions on the e-invoice system again. Lastly, you have the e-invoice generated section. Drill down from the section. You can further drill down and view the voucher. Press Ctrl plus P and then press I. You can see the preview of the voucher with all the e-invoice details such as QR code. You can also open e-invoice archives in order to view the e-invoicing details of the vouchers for which you have generated e-invoices. Press Alt plus G. Type or select e-invoice archives and press enter. As you can see, a list of vouchers with all the e-invoice details gets displayed. 
you can also store e invoices in the folder you selected for e invoice archives under f11 press alt plus r to view vouchers pending for archiving now just select the vouchers and press alt plus a to archive the e invoice the e invoices will be available in the e invoice archives folder as you saw, the e-invoice overview report provides you with the e-invoicing status of the vouchers so that you can take the necessary actions. Thank you. To know more about Tally Prime features, visit help.tallysolutions.com. Subscribe to the Tally Solutions channel for the latest videos.